the things, whenever you um, do a presentation, you're always very clear to point out that there's a lot of active debate on a lot of these topics. And I think that's very fair. And you'll often give both sides and then just kind of give your opinion on what you think is going to end up being right over time in the science. And one of those hot debates right now is the bacteria to fungal ratio in soil. And oh my God, like the, the online debates are like a blood sport, you know, it's, Ooh, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. And so, um, you know, you're a nice even handed guy. So I would appreciate if you would give us a general overview of what the debate looks like. So people have a little context sure. and then give us an idea of where you think that it's going to end up being sure. uh, played out for Canada specific. Right, right, right. Well, first of all, for those who don't know anything about fungal bacteria relation, your soil is usually dominated by either fungus or it is dominated by bacteria. And if it's dominated by fungus, then it, it, it likes a ammonia type uh, uh, fertilizer uh, or microbe food, I should say. And if it's, if it's uh, got a uh, bacterial dominance, it likes the nitrate type. So there's two kinds of of uh, nitrogen. Um, all soils have a balance of these. Uh, by the way, if it has more fungi than bacteria, it is acidic in nature. If it has more bacteria than fungi, it is uh, a, a, a basic or an alkaline. Uh, and if it is bacteria, it has nitrogen fixing bacteria that fix the nitrogen. So uh, there are those differences. Um, your soils have one or the other, or, 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 or in dominance, but they have a, a, a they have both of them. So there's always some fungi in bacterial soil, and vice versa, unless you're at the very far ends of the spectrum. Now, when we first started talking about this stuff, and, and the concept really has been developed by Dr. Elaine Ingham, who is a goddess among mortals, as far as I'm concerned, um, and and I never want to put words in her mouth, but uh, Dr. Elaine Ingham. Uh, showed us about fungal bacteria ratio and explained to us that if you are in a uh, beginning ecological situation, what I call the beach, uh, you know, where life is just beginning, mm -hmm. as opposed to the old growth forest, which is the other end of the spectrum, when you're at that beach end, you have bacteria. There is nothing really f for the fungi to eat. And as things grow and develop, you start to get detritus and fungi move in, and as you move Further along that spectrum, more and more fungi begin to appear. The bacteria number basically stays the same. When you get all the way over to the old growth forest, you've got so much stuff for the fungi to eat that fungi dominate the soil 50,000 to 1. Oh. I mean, they really, they really go nuts. So you've got those two ends of the spectrum. And in order to know what your plant likes, you figure out where along that spectrum you get. I suspect the debate started this way. That was too difficult for me to figure out. Dr. Elaine is a lot smarter than me, I promise you. And that was just too difficult for me to figure out. And so, so I came up with this idea because I was giving talks to regular gardeners, not intelligent, highly intelligent cannabis growers. Uh, and so I had to dumb down the system. Uh, and I came up with this idea that if you grow things for less than a year, they like bacterially dominated soil. And basically, when you look at the spectrum that Dr. Elaine has, sure, that's, that's, that's what happens. Uh, if you grow things for more than a year, perennials and trees and shrubs, they tend to want fungally dominated soil. And, and, and so I've got this slide, fungal dominated is more than a year, less than a year is, is bacterially dominated. What is cannabis? Cannabis is less than a year. Cannabis is bacterially dominated says Jeff Lowenfels. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Elaine, again, a lot smarter than I am, I think she's done some, some, some research, and, and she's decided that no, really, cannabis has a little bit higher bacterial, I mean, a fungal ratio than bacterial ratio. Um, I'm willing to accept that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I'm willing to accept anything Dr. Elaine says, frankly, but um, uh, she really, what she has done for the world is phenomenal as far as I'm concerned. But. Uh, yeah, so maybe a little bit more bacterial. Now, last night, we talked about autoflowers. Yeah, the new race car of cannabis. Whoa, yeah. and they are so fast that I, it's hard for me to believe that they want a, bacter a fungally dominated soil. Uh, we'll experiment and, and find it out. But uh, uh, So a little fungi uh, versus bacteria makes, makes sense. How do you get it? 
Mm. Bacteria like green things. Uh, they like sweet things. You know, molasses, uh, 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 straw, hay. You know that kind of stuff. Is uh, grass clippings. All the green mulches we were talking. All about. the green mulches, and then the bacteria, uh, the fungi like the brown mulches, um, and so you can you can use those. So, so by, for folks who don't know, brown mulches, we're talking things like like wood chips and things, and just and leaves, leaves, and yeah, 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 leaves. I go out and just pull pull a bunch of leaves off my yard. Make sure they're not oak leaves because those are allopathic to a lot of plants. But um, uh, yeah, and then the more you grind them up, the more bacterially they, bacterial oriented they become. So you can take a fungal food and, and really grind it up, it becomes a bacterial food. Mm -hmm. So if you really wanted to do it right, you get a fungal food, grind it so it's little bacteria, little fungal too. So it's, mm -hmm. So um, if, if, if folks want to know uh, which side they're dominant on, is this something that uh, you can just get from a simple soil test? Or? No. Uh, that's one where you need a soil fruit web test and, uh, or a microscope of your own. You can, you can get a grid and try to figure it all out, or you can bottle some and send it into a soil food web lab. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and how do you find a soil food web lab? You Google them and they're all around the world. Um, that'll give you your, your uh, fungal bacterial ratio. Right on. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for taking apart that debate for us. Okay. Right on. I probably cost it. <laughs>